Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I just wanted to sit down and talk about some things that have been going on and give you all a little bit of a life update because I feel like I haven't really sat down and just talked in quite a while. I'm going to start this off on a positive note and I'm going to brag about my dad for a little bit. If you've been following me for a while, you probably know that my dad went back to school to study psychology back in 2016 and he actually just graduated with a master's in clinical psychology the big graduation was today on saturday and then the department graduation was on thursday and he also won two awards on tuesday the first was the thesis award and the second was the spirit of the psychology department award so as you can probably imagine i'm really really proud of him he did all of this while he was working full time and he didn't just graduate he also got awards and he had a straight a average so basically my dad is awesome and i'm really proud of him the second thing that i want to talk about is my school basically i'm about to start my finals. I've had a lot of papers to do, I've had a lot of presentations, things have been very stressful but it's all gonna be over pretty soon. My last final is on May 20th and then I'll be done with the semester and the only thing that I really have to do is work. Obviously I'm gonna do other things but that will be the only thing that I'm required to do every day. Well I guess I could just quit my job but then I wouldn't have any money. I don't know if I've talked about this already in a previous video but I'm staying at my on-campus job over the summer and we're gonna be tabling at orientation and doing all the same stuff that we did last year. For those of you that have been asking I will be making a new orientation video very soon after I'm done with finals because I want to Make sure that I get it right and I want to make sure that I have really good information for you guys. The third thing that I want to talk about is VTA and transportation in my area because the final vote on the transit plan that I've been fighting against for the past six months or so happened on Thursday and we unfortunately lost for the most part. They approved the plan we were able to save a few routes and we do have the option of saving the route in my area if we're able to increase ridership. So if you live in San Jose and you live near a route 65 stop please ride it to increase ridership because we need to get to 15 boardings an hour by the end of the year. Obviously, I'm really upset that the plan was approved and that they failed to increase transit service as they promised in Measure B, but we definitely didn't leave without anything. As I already mentioned, we were able to save some routes, so for me at least, it was definitely worth my time. And I also learned so much from the process just about how to stand up for myself, how to stand up for other people, how to be persistent, and just how local government works and how to make your voice heard. I think that I learned more from this whole VTA process than I did from any of my classes this semester. It taught me so much about local government and how to not give up, and more importantly, it taught me that my voice does matter and that my voice does count and that I can't have an impact because if I didn't say anything and if I didn't get my neighbors involved we wouldn't have any chance of saving Route 65. Throughout this process so many people told me that we were fighting a pointless battle and that we would definitely lose and while we did lose for the most part we did have some small victories that I'm very very thankful for and that I'm very very proud of. I know that most people don't care about transportation but I'm a transit rider myself I've never owned a car so public transit has a huge impact on my life and I've seen from riding transit that it has a huge impact on the lives of others as well and knowing that I played a part in saving routes that other people rely on is just one of the greatest things in the entire world. Like, So I guess the moral of the story is don't let other people tell you that your voice doesn't matter because it does. It's not gonna be easy to have an impact. This was definitely one of the hardest things that I've ever done in my entire life. It took so much of my time and energy and patience. I did hours and hours and hours of research, dozens of meetings about this. I sent so many emails, I talked to so many people. I mean, it really got me involved in the Cambrian community, which is the neighborhood that I live in and it showed me that there are good people here and that there are people that care too and yeah there aren't a lot of young people here but there are some older people that care and there's a couple young people that care too. Basically what I'm trying to say is that nothing's impossible and that it's always worth trying because even if you fail you're gonna get something out of it because I definitely got something out of this. It was such a great learning experience. I met people that I couldn't imagine my life without and I'm not giving up. The next budget process is starting this week and I'm gonna get involved with that and I'm gonna try to get more funding allocated towards buses so that we can get a better plan for next year and I know the chances of us succeeding are pretty slim but I think that it's always worth a shot. So if you're in a similar situation and if something feels impossible to you, it's probably not impossible. Maybe the chance of you succeeding is less than 1%, but a 1% chance is still a chance and you should absolutely take it and you should absolutely try as hard as you possibly can. Because even if you don't succeed, you're gonna learn and you're gonna meet some great people along the way. So I think that's pretty much everything that I wanna say for now. Probably gonna be kind of gone from the internet because I'm gonna be dealing with new budget process and finals at the same time. And I'm also doing some other things. I'm still going to be posting videos every Sunday, but if I don't reply to comments or if I don't really post on social media that much, that's why. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that this video helped in some way or at least helped you to understand what I've been doing. And I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.